Hi family, welcome to you. My name is Bonolom Bofu and if this is your first time, thank you so much for watching. So today's discussion, the price of trusting God. So I've been going through this a whole lot of um, times and I was thinking to myself, is there a price to trusting God? Yes, there is. And I have a couple of few points that I want to just share with you guys that I have experienced in my life and I have saw by observation and experience that I feel like this is the price I have paid for trusting God. And I will reference scriptures that go hand in hand with the points that I'll be saying. So one of the things about trusting God is that you have to be obedient to what he's saying to um, experience what he has in store for you as a child of God. First of all, when you trust God, most of the things that are important to you are not necessarily important to God. This is why I believe that God sees the whole picture and knows the whole picture and you only know but a fraction of that picture and therefore you base your importance of things based on the part picture that you have for your life and for your future that you feel like okay i want to be a doctor my desire is to be a doctor however god might have called you into ministry instead of being a professional doctor because god sees the whole picture and you see but a fraction of the picture that you have a heart for people you have a passion for people so that is one of the prices you have to pay to understand that your level of importance for things is not um, entirely important to what's important as the will and the purpose of God for your life. The scripture that goes with that point is Jeremiah 29 11 where it says I know the plans I have for you and these are the plans to prosper you and not to harm you to give you a future and a hope. So God didn't say, you know the plan I have for you. But God says, I know the plans that I have for you. God knows the end from the beginning. So he knows the end of your life, end of your will, your purpose from the beginning. So before God goes and uh, uh, starts the beginning with you, he already knows the end in mind. So point number two, there isn't a set way in God. So by saying there isn't a set way in God is that um, God can use everything and anything. In the Bible, you see that God used Moses and said to Moses, speak to the rock for water to come out of it. That is unusual. It's, it had never been done before. So you have to allow yourself to follow God's lead. When God says do this, or God says you need this, or God says this is what you need to do, you need to um, give give up what you think is because god can use anything and anything there was a time when a donkey spoke so those type of things is the price that you pay for trusting god because you have to be able to give up what you think you know for what god will show you the other point is that you have to have an understanding of times and seasons that god will allow for certain things for you to go through certain things for you to learn certain things so you see that um in the bible god would allow job to lose everything for god to be able to increase job 